Hi everyone, my name is Aaron Christian Sixon, and I'm here to talk to you about NFC technology and how NFC can hack vital information using mobile devices. To demonstrate this, I will be utilizing a mobile application called NFC Proxy and an Android feature called Android Beam with, that has the, this feature on mobile devices. This is all part of my ethical hacking course with Dr. Kaleem, in which I have to discuss a related topic to this course. The purpose of this project is to utilize NFC technology with the help of NFC Proxy and Android. NFC Proxy is an Android app that lets you proxy transactions between an RFID credit card and a reader. The saved transaction can be replayed to skim credit cards or an RFID credit card can be replayed at POS terminal. Android Beam is a special feature found in many devices, mobile devices that is running the latest version of Android operating system. It enables just about any type of proximity based interaction and you will see why Android Beam works well with NFC Proxy to basically hack vital information. <music> NFC stands for Near Field Communication. The idea being that by putting your phone so close to a reader, you'll be able to buy movie tickets, pay for your subway fare, or redeem the latest Groupon. NFC works to take advantage of induction. There are two players involved, the initiator and the target. Only one has to be powered for NFC to work, but both can be powered. When only one is powered, it creates a field so strong that it can power the other for the data exchange to take place. Android Beam is a capability built into Android-based smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. Just touch your smartphone to another smartphone or tablet to transfer files such as website links, uh, YouTube links, links to apps, maps, directions, pictures, or anything else you can think of. It first debuted in the ice cream sandwich version of the Android operating system in October 2011. Android Beam is spreading throughout the Android world of mobile devices. Up until now, getting into NFC and RFID uh, hacking requires enthusiasts to buy special hardware and equipment and learn about underlying transfer protocols. Not anymore. NFC Proxy is a tool that proxy trans RFID transactions using Android mobile devices with NFC capabilities. Eddie Lee is a security researcher at Blackwing Intelligence. He first introduced NFC Proxy at DEF CON 20. He's an application researcher but is an enthusiast of all things related to security. From exploiting buffer overflows to building robots to messing with RFID. He just likes to figure out how things work and even more so how they break. Android Beam is a feature found in Android operating systems that allow data to be transferred via NFC. It allows short range exchange of data such as web bookmarks, uh, YouTube videos, directions, phone numbers, and other data. NFC Proxy is an open source Android app. It can record and replay RFID transactions from the perspective of the TAG or the PCD. The PCD stands for Proximity Coupling Device. NFC Proxy can also be useful for protocol analysis to learn more about the underlying communication protocol. The critical components that are utilized to demonstrate NFC hacking are the following. Two mobile devices with NFC capabilities. For this demonstration, we use the Samsung uh, Galaxy S3 and the Google Nexus 7. All at one has to be rooted, which is my Google Nexus 7, and has an, has an installed ROM of SignEngine Mod. We also have to have a credit card and a credit card reader. NFC proxy requires a rooted device and root privileges. Rooting a phone can make it more vulnerable to malicious applications or even just the opposite. NFC requires specific features not found in stock configurations of the Android based devices. Cautiously, installing a ROM such as SignEngine Mod has to be managed properly, otherwise the phone can be damaged. SignEngine Mod is a aftermarket firmware developed for numerous mobile devices based on the open source of Android operating systems. 
It has features and enhancements not found in the stock versions of the Android-based devices. So basically what we have here is the Samsung Galaxy S3. It also has the Android Beam or the S Beam they have, uh, as they call it, inside, capable of the NFC. And now we have the Google Nexus 7, which is mine, that has the Android Beam as well, which is right behind the tablet. Right now you see a YouTube clip, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, and now I'll be able to transfer it to the Samsung S Galaxy by just a touch. Now you see the link to the YouTube clip on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now here's an example of an app being transferred via an NFC. We're using the Samsung Galaxy S3 to transfer an app. Oops, sorry, press the volume button. So we just have to wait. There you go. Uh, press it, and all of a sudden, in the Google Nexus 7, it shows you the app on the Google Play. Here you see we have a basic transfer of a PDF file between these two NFC capable phones. As you can see, you just tap it and all of a sudden it goes to the Samsung Galaxy S3. But as you see that the Samsung Galaxy S3 does not have Adobe Reader, so it prompts you to download it itself before you open the file. Now here I have made a little diagram to show how it's supposed to work. So we have a relay mode phone, uh, a credit card, a proxy mode phone, and a, a card reader. Now, as you see, the proxy mode has to have sign engine mod in order to use the proxy mode, of course. The relay mode, what it does is that you place, uh, you place relay on a card or a tag, and it opens ports and waits for connection from proxy. The proxy mode, it swipes up uh, across the reader, forwards uh, APD use from reader to card, transactions are displayed on the screen, long clicking allows you to save, export, replay, or delete. This credit card has a small RFID microchip. When the chip is close enough to the right kind of a terminal, the terminal can get information from the chip, in this case the account number and name. And this is a blink card. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go to Google and search NFC proxy and let me tell you the reason why is because NFC proxy is not available on Google Play Store so you look for it, you go to Google sourceforge.net has it, click on the link wait for it to load and the APK file link will be right there go ahead and download it Send to the next page and it will pop up saying ready to download onto your mobile device there you go press OK now you just have to wait until it downloads. It's pretty a small file, so it's not that bad. There you go, it's complete. Wait for it. Alright, it's gonna ask you to install it with all those permissions, blah blah blah. Go ahead and press install. And once it's installed, go ahead and open it. Now the first thing that you see is that it's gonna be on relay mode where it can actually uh save any credit card information right now to the app. All right, right now we want to try to find the NFC proxy that was installed in the Google Nexus. And we find it right there, we go ahead and click on it. We'll see that it's right now it's on relay mode. If you see the first, the top front, top part, yeah, it's already checked, so that's just good because we wanted to read the credit card information and try to save it into the app. So right now it's on relay mode. We go ahead and put it on top of the credit card since the NFC is back on the tablet. Now there will be times that the credit cards will not be able to be retrieved by NFC proxy since NFC and RFID tags can be finicky. It takes some finesse when you work with them. It may require a few times to get the credit card information to be found on the app itself. Alright, as you can see this is a screenshot of what happens when the relay mode acquires the information of the credit card and is sent to the proxy mode. Now I did not want to show my own credit card information at such a close range. As a result, I have provided a sample picture of what is basically the same thing of what my credit card information looks like at this visual range. Of course, this is an ethical hacking project, and my professor wants me to practice safety measures. So, I hope I made you proud, professor. Alright, let's look at some of the features uh, of the NFC proxy. 
you can set the IP of the relay mode in order to communicate with the proxy mode. You see the option right there. You can actually tell the screen on and keep it on and debug logging. Debug logging will log account information to the logcat feature of Android phones. So that's a good thing. But let's go back for a second and go to settings. Notice that you can switch from a relay mode to a proxy mode by unchecking the box right next to that feature. Once I have done that, I am now in proxy mode. Particularly, I want to show the saved feature of the app in proxy mode. As you can see, there are other credit card informations that I have tested. Of course, as a precaution, I will not get too close so everyone can actually see all my information. Unfortunately, I did not have a credit card reader to initiate a transaction. But the purpose of this project was to show that it can acquire, or I should say, hack vital information like a credit card. However, let's say that I did have the credit card reader. The procedure to initiate a transaction using NFC proxy is pretty simple. And that is the scary part. It's too simple. For example, let's assume that you have left one of your credit cards lying around somewhere. A person can actually take your credit card information without you even knowing it. All he needs is to place a smartphone with the, prox with the NFC proxy app, set it to relay mode, and have the app ready to read the credit card information via NFC. Once that is set, the accused thief can then go somewhere to purchase an item through the use of his own phone that has NFC proxy in proxy mode. Of course, it has to be rooted and have to have a sign in Jin mod. Upon finalizing the transaction, all the thief needs to do is have his own phone be placed near the credit card reader that can read, of course, RFID and NFC tags, and boom, the thief has just spent your money without you even knowing it. Well, for now at least. What's even more frightening is that, one, that even if the transaction is complete, the thief can save your credit card information for later use. As a result, he doesn't have to keep going through such a process to keep stealing from you. Now that's how NFC hacking can work through NFC proxy using Android Beam. With more advanced technology coming up in the horizon, NFC hacking will become a premier threat on mobile devices. It will become easier to hack someone's vital information just like a credit card information. But there are simple and more important ways to protect yourself from NFC hacking. Turn off the NFC feature on your phone. Check to see if it is on, because when I first used my Google Nexus 7, I was unaware that my NFC Android Beam was on until my friend demonstrated it to me. My friend took my Google Nexus 7 because he wanted to share something on it from his uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. So he put my Google Nexus 7 back to back with his smartphone, and all of a sudden, he was able to uh, transfer data into my uh, Google Nexus 7. Unaware that it was on, I could have lost vital information and I was vulnerable. So always check to see if it's on. Uh, today, uh, NFC, like the, uh, NFC is being used in almost every Android uh, phone that has the latest uh, version of Android operating system like Jelly Bean. But if you really want to use your NFC feature and want to keep it on, here's some advice. Use NFC for predictable payments. Like a toll road tag, like SunPass, you know when to use it, you know the cost, and you can spot transactions that are out of the ordinary. Probably the greatest thefts around NFC will show up as tiny transactions that occur repeatedly because a thief put a reader at a bus stop or doorway you go through. Criminals are less likely to get caught if they steal $1 from 100 people rather than $100 from one person. Weigh the risk. Reserve the use of NFC for areas in your life when time is of the essence. Consider any risk associated with NFC with the convenience a speedy transaction may give you. A situation where your ability to complete a transaction in a timely manner is where NFC will be most valuable. A movie theater or a subway perhaps. There you have it. NFC is a promising technology, but my advice to you or anyone using NFC is to keep a level head and be smart on how and where to adopt this technology. Taking small measures to protect your overall financial and privacy exposure may become more important than ever in the coming years. 
My name is Aaron Christian Sixon, and this has been an exclusive look on NFC hacking using NFC Proxy with Android Beam. Thank you.